Ukrainian political expert Maxim Razumny commented on the likelihood of holding a referendum on the creation of the Kursk People's Republic in the regions of the Russian Federation controlled by the armed forces of Ukraine. If they promised to feed well and not oppress, yes, the local population would support such an initiative, he emphasized during a chat on Glavred. At the same time, the expert cited the experience of occupation regimes of the 20th century in the First and Second World Wars and not only in Russia but also in European countries, which indicates that peoples did not resist such initiatives too much. There are a number of circumstances that explain this effect. There are fewer explanations for the reaction that Ukrainians demonstrated in 2022. This can be studied to understand why such a patriotic upsurge arose in our society and why Ukrainians put up such desperate resistance. Putin was perhaps most surprised by this. Therefore, it is not known here what is the greater mystery, the reaction of the Ukrainians or the Russians. Razumny added, Maxim Razumny said that the Kursk operation interrupted a series of unpleasant events for Ukraine when Ukrainian troops retreated and Russian troops developed their offensive and there seemed to be no way out of this deadlock. This situation developed in the spring of this year and dragged on. Everything looked, if not tragic, then depressing for us and this led to our partners starting to lose faith in our victory. The Kursk operation allowed, to a certain extent, to seize the initiative and not only to develop success at the front, but also in the political dimension, allowed Ukraine to return to a more or less strong position in this confrontation. So far, not in negotiations, but it is clear that we are talking about a negotiating position in the future, among other things, he added. According to him, as for the prospects, I think that the Kursk operation will turn into a defensive operation aimed, in particular, at holding a certain bridgehead which, on the one hand, will threaten Russian troops in Donbass and, on the other, will project a threat of force deep into Russia. And we remember Prigozhin's campaign in 2023, when he almost reached Moscow and set off from approximately the same places where we are now and developed an offensive. That is, I think that the armed forces of Ukraine will consolidate in the place where they are now and will project threats from Moscow to the nuclear power plant in Kurchatov and also threaten the group of Russian troops located to the south in Donbass, he said. North Carolina officials are pledging to get more water and other supplies to storm-damaged areas by Monday after Hurricane Helene left a trail of destruction across the southeastern United States. Authorities have struggled to get supplies to isolated areas including the city of Asheville. Massive rains brought by Helene left many people stranded or homeless around the region. The death toll from the storm topped 90 people across several states. The West has received evidence that China is supplying Russia with weapons for the war in Ukraine. This is reported by the Times citing a Western official. It is noted that a new report received by the Allies indicates that a Chinese company is sending Russia specially designed military drones for testing in Ukraine. The Western official said the deal was concluded last year. 
He did not name the Chinese company, but added that there is now clear evidence that Chinese companies are supplying Russia with lethal weapons for use in Ukraine. While the Chinese government may not admit it, it will be hard for it to hide its growing support. NATO responded to the information, stating that it causes deep concern and allies are consulting on this issue. China has been a decisive factor in Russia's war in Ukraine, providing dual-use technology to support Russia's defense industry. The Chinese government has a responsibility to ensure that its companies do not provide lethal assistance to Russia. China cannot continue to fuel the largest conflict in Europe since World War II without affecting its interests and reputation, the alliance said. Recall that Reuters recently reported that Russia has launched a weapons program in China to develop and produce long-range attack drones for use in the war against Ukraine. It was noted that IEMZ Kupol, a subsidiary of the Russian state arms company Almaz Ante, developed and conducted flight tests of a new model of a drone called Harpia 3 in China and has allegedly already set up large-scale production at a Chinese plant. This drone can fly about 2,000 kilometers with a payload of 50 kilograms. According to invoices, seven Chinese-made drone models, including two Harpia 3s, have already been delivered to Russia for further testing with Chinese experts. Earlier, it was reported that Russia was purchasing hundreds of Chinese all-terrain vehicles for the war in Ukraine. As noted by the Ukrainian armed forces, the Russians are using these small, maneuverable vehicles to deliver personnel through minefields to the battlefield. It also recently became known that Russian occupiers have begun using Chinese ZFB-05 armored vehicles in the war in Ukraine.